All right, so I'm going to start with the I'm going to start to build, or we'll get to building the uh, frame first. Uh, I think I mentioned in a previous video that this company does give you a link to a, a website or a Google Doc, Google Drive, I think is what it is, um, that gives videos on the assembly of this. Probably very much like what I'll end up doing for this as well, so there'll be two sets of videos. Um, the gentleman who is assembling it in the video didn't speak, however, and then there was just scrolling, scrolling text along the bottom. So I'll watch those, and anybody who buys this kit, I would recommend watching them before you uh, get your your printer, and there's plenty of time to to watch it be while it's in the mail, um, because there are a few things that even he messed up on and has to do again. So um, do keep that in mind. Uh, the one thing that comes to mind while I'm sitting here looking at this is um, the there are holes specifically cut for power supply and for the electronics kit. Hmm. Nicely cut plastic, by the way. If I'm looking at this, and I'm pretty sure I know which direction I'm already looking at it, the one with more holes, that's going to be for electronics. The one with just the two are going to be for the power supply. And I will double check and I'll let you know. They said, <coughs> and it might be that they changed the power supply in mid-design or something, that you might have to drill a hole, a second mounting hole for the power supply. I will see if that is indeed correct or not. <coughs> anyway, I believe the thickness of this plastic is uh, 6 mil. Pretty sure it is good thickness to maintain rigidity. That seems to be the trend anyway, regardless of um, if you bought aluminum or plastic. The wood might be a slight bit off because they're just using whatever available plywood might be uh, laser cut for that. Um, you see it's all brown. It does come with a uh, protective backing on one side. The other side, however, is pretty nice. And who cares if there's a guff or two on plastic anyway. This is a printer. It's a tool. It's not a show vehicle. Um, here's the little bits, as they said, the small parts. This one. See here, I'll do a test fit or a dry fit first, um, and I'll have to dig out my uh, my hardware, probably in the bag labeled hardware. Um, but I was just giving a look over this, and everything seems to be pretty good. So again, dry fit first, dig out the hardware and put it together. This I'll save for later because I'm not building the uh, the bed right now in the box. But uh, yeah, give me a few and I'll uh, start assembling this once I dig out the right screws.